Hello everyone, Jennifer Maker here. It's a beautiful day to make fun money cards. These cute little cards make it so much more fun to give money as a gift. It's so much better than a boring envelope. And I've got lots of cute designs to share with you too. So let's get started. Money holders are a pretty simple print and cut project with big appeal. And I know you're busy, just like I am, so I've made the process as quick and painless as possible. You can have your money card ready to go in just minutes. Plus, there are so many different designs to choose from, you are sure to find one that fits your needs, I promise. Now, the primary tool that you'll need for print and then cut money holder is a printer. Uh, it doesn't really matter whether it's inkjet or laser printer, I'm using an inkjet printer here, and I recommend that you print on white 65 pound cardstock. And all tools and materials that I'm talking about in this video are linked below, so you can know exactly what I use without guessing. And you can cut your money holders out by hand, sure, but I prefer to use a Cricut cutting machine for precise, easy cuts. You'll want either the Cricut Maker or the Cricut Explorer if you want to use the print and then cut feature, which I will show you how to do in this video. Beyond that, you may want to use plastic domes like these. You can buy these separately or just reuse them from a chopstick package that you might have. And if you can't find these or you don't want to get them, you can skip it all together and use just cardstock. And I will show you how that's done too. Other than that, you really just need some craft glue. I'm gonna use my favorite stuff. This is a pretty easy and simple project once you know what to do. Now you need some designs. You can find money holder designs on Cricut Design Space as well as places like Etsy, but to make it simpler for you, I've designed three fun designs. A birthday money holder, just like this one here, a butterfly money holder, and a tooth fairy money holder. And these can all be personalized with any text or design that you want. Uh, so they'll be totally unique and awesome. So let me show you where to get these free designs and then we'll print, cut, and assemble them together. Step one, prepare to print then cut the money holders. If you've never used the print then cut feature on your printer, or if it's been a while, calibrate your machine settings before starting. It's easy and so worth the time to avoid unpleasant surprises. In a new Cricut Design Space window, click the three lines in the upper left corner, then select Calibration. Select Print then Cut, then follow the prompts to select your printer and print a test sheet. Place the test sheet on your blue light grip machine mat, following the prompts and load it into your Cricut. Your Cricut will perform many cuts that may or may not line up with the coded lines. This will help you tell if the Cricut needs to recalibrate. Do not unload your mat until the calibration test is complete. Answer the questions in Design Space about the cut results. If the calibration was off, you may need to print another test sheet and check the settings once more. Keep working on the calibration process until your cuts look good, like these. Also, clean the print heads on your inkjet printer for the best print quality. Consult the printer's manual for the specific steps as they vary from printer to printer. Now your printer and your Cricut are ready. Let's get the money holder designs. Step two, get my free money holder designs. Go to jennifermaker.com slash 406 and look for libraries in the red bar at the top. And then either click get a password if you don't yet have one or click enter the library. You can find the designs on the page by searching for design number 406 and then click it to download the zip file. It contains folders for three double-sided designs for birthdays, a visit from the tooth fairy, and one just because. The files with the plastic in their title use the popular plastic domes to hold the money. Ones with cardstock have tabs that do the work and you don't need the extra dome. They both work great. You can print and cut the PDFs by hand, but these are a perfect project for Cricut's print then cut feature. 
That's because the front of each card is a colorful design that I've shared as a high quality PNG. I'll show you how to handle these. The backs are SVGs, which will cut out of cardstock. When you're ready to make a money holder, upload both files for your design that you want to make. I'll start with the birthday card that uses just cardstock, then we'll make a butterfly with the plastic dome so you can see how that works. Step 3. Prepare and cut your money holders. First, upload the SVG file as normal to your design software. If you're not sure how to do this, go to jennifermaker.com svgs to learn how to unzip and upload files. The steps are a bit different for the front image. Upload the PNG as normal until you reach a screen with the PNG shown on the left. Select complex for the image type and then click continue in the lower right corner. You do not need to do anything on the next screen, so click Apply and Continue. For Upload Type, select Print Then Cut and then click Upload. You should now see both your birthday designs in your recent uploads. Select both and click Add to Canvas. And surprise, the PNG is huge! And that's due to the way Design Space uploads high resolution PNGs, but it's easy to correct. You can zoom out to see all of the design by clicking on the minus sign on the lower left. Click on the back layer to find the correct dimensions for the design, which in this case is 4 inches wide and 5 inches tall. Then select the front layer and make sure the lock icon is closed at the top. Type 4 in the width field at the top of your screen and press enter on your keyboard. This will make the height very close to 5 inches. Now the front and back are the same size. These cards are perfectly sized to hold a bill, so don't resize them if you want to be able to fit your money. Now you can customize the design by adding a dollar amount inside the white circle on the present. Click the text icon on the left hand side of the screen. A box with text highlighted in it will appear on your canvas. Without clicking anywhere else, just type in your desired amount. I'll add $50. Then click on the font menu at the top to see your font options. Scroll through and click a font name to see how your text looks until you find one that you like. Make sure your font choice doesn't have a price next to it, unless you're okay paying for it, of course, uh, because otherwise you'll be charged when you go to cut your design. I chose Ondula Script, which you can download from fontbundles.net. Remember to look in the system section for any downloaded fonts that you have installed to your system. Move the text box onto the circle and center it as best you can. Click and drag a corner of the text's bounding box to fit it in the white circle. I also changed the color swatch at the top to red to match the word birthday in my design. Now we need to adjust the design so our machine knows which parts to print and which parts to cut. Hold shift and click the text layer and the print then cut front layer. Click flatten at the bottom of the layers panel. You should now see a single print then cut layer for the front of your card. Since the cutouts to hold the money are transparent, the Cricut will make cuts allowing you to pop them up. Your card is now ready to cut. Make sure the correct machine is selected, then click Make it in the upper right corner. If you're prompted, click On Mat and 12x12 on the pop-up menu. On the Prepare screen, check that your first mat says Print then Cut and your second mat says Basic Cut and that the material size for your first mat is 8.5 by 11 and your second mat is the size of your back layer's material. Mine is 12 by 12. You may also need to select on mat for the material load type for your second mat. Then select your first mat again and click continue in the lower right. Click the green send to printer button to open the print setup window. Make sure your printer is listed and the sliders next to Add Bleed, which is a small border around each image that allows for more precise cutting, and Use System Dialog are green. 
right? So we want Add Bleed and Use System Dialog to be on, and then click Print. The print screen for your printer will appear, but it might be hidden behind the Design Space window. Just slide your window or minimize your Cricut window to see the print dialog box. Your window will look different depending on your computer and your printer, so don't be surprised if it doesn't match mine exactly. Make sure your printer is selected in the window. Set the paper type to plain and the print quality to the highest available. Put your cardstock in the printer and press print. After your money holder design has printed, let it dry to avoid any smears during the cutting process. Now see that black box around my design? This is called a registration box and it's used by your Cricut machine to tell it exactly where to cut your project. So you want to be sure you see that registration box all the way around your money holder. On your make screen, select the medium cardstock setting and change the pressure to more for a cleaner cut. Check the remember material settings box. Place your printed sheet on your green standard grip machine mat like it is on the screen and use a brayer to make sure it's fully adhered. Check that your fine point blade is clean and in clamp B. Then load the mat into the machine and press the flashing button to begin cutting your design. When the design is cut, unload the mat and flip it over and roll the mat back to release the cardstock. This helps prevent the material from curling and ripping. Use your scraper to remove any small pieces of cardstock that are left on the mat. For the back of your money holder card, follow the same steps as above to cut and remove your design. Here's what the cut pieces for the front and back of my birthday cardstock card look like. Now let's do the butterfly shaped money holder with the plastic dome variation. Upload the SVG and PNG files just like you did for the birthday card. Click on the back layer to find the dimensions for the design, which in this case is six inches wide by five inches tall. Select the front layer and make sure the lock icon is closed at the top. Type six in the width field at the top of your screen and press enter on your keyboard. This will make the height very close to 5 inches. Now the front and back of this money holder are the same size. I've designed all of the money holder cards to perfectly fit a rolled up bill, so I don't recommend you resize them. Now you can add a message and dollar amount to the bottom wings on the front of your card if you'd like. To do this, click the text icon on the left hand side of the screen. A box with text highlighted in it will appear on the canvas. Without clicking anywhere else on your screen, just type in your desired amount. I'll add $20. Then click the box that says Font up at the top of the menu to see your font options. Scroll through and click a font name to see how your text looks until you find a font you like. If you don't want to pay for a font, make sure it doesn't have a price, otherwise you will be charged when you go to cut this. I chose Sweetie Almira script, which you can download from fontbundles.net. If you upload a font like this one, be sure to check the system section for any installed fonts. Change the color swatch at the top to black. Then click duplicate to make another text box in the same font and color. Double click the new text box and type congrats. Drag the text boxes to the lower wings. Click and drag a corner of each text bounding box to fit it in the area. Now we need to flatten our design so our machine knows which parts to print and which parts to cut. While holding your shift key on your keyboard, select both of your text layers and the print then cut layer for the front of your card. Click flatten at the bottom of the layers panel. You should now see a single print then cut layer for the front of your card. Now your card is ready to cut. Follow the same steps as those from the birthday card. Here's what the cut pieces for the front and back of my butterfly shaped card with the plastic dome cutout look like. Step 4. Assemble your money holders. Let's first do the birthday card. Take your front piece and crease the rounded cutouts up so they're perpendicular to the card, just like this.
place the back face down. Then apply glue to the back of the front, avoiding the money holder cutouts and the hole at the top. Hold the front on top of the bottom to align the edges and press them together. Make sure the holes at the top line up and give the glue a few seconds to dry. Roll up your money and slide it through the folded cutouts to hold it in place. Make sure the dollar amount faces out on your bill so your recipient can read it when they're looking at your card. Now let's do the butterfly with the plastic dome. If you're using a dome from a chapstick package, peel the dome off the package and use a craft knife to remove all of the excess paper. You won't need the chapstick, but you don't have to waste it either. Since the dome's plastic edges will be between the card's layers, you don't have to get all of the paper off of them. You can use your craft knife to trim as much as you like. If you're using a dome with the tape attached, leave the backing paper in place and treat it like the plain dome by adding glue. The rest of the steps are the same for any dome. Lay the piece on your work surface with the dome facing up. Apply a thin line of glue to the flat ridge. Place the card's front face up over the dome so the plastic slides through the cutout shape. Press down around the edges to adhere the paper to the top dome edge. Wait several seconds for the glue to dry. With the back face down in front of you and apply glue to the left half, leaving at least an eighth of an inch clear around the dome. Carefully align the front face up on the back and press to dry. Roll up your money and gently curve the unglued side up to push the money into the holder. Make sure the dollar amount is facing out on your bill so your recipient can see it when they're looking at the front of the money holder. Apply glue to the other half of the inside of your card, avoiding the cutout again. You may need to hold the dollar bill in place while you apply the glue so it doesn't unroll. Press down to adhere both sides and give the glue a few seconds to dry. Step 5. Show it off. And you're done. Here's what my money holders look like. Aren't they adorable? Now you can give your friend or family member the gift of money with a creative twist. They will love getting such a unique and thoughtful card made just for them. You can even give your little one money from the Tooth Fairy in a custom Tooth Fairy card. So which one do you think is the cutest? Let me know in the comments. I always love to know your preferences. And please let me know if you have any questions that I didn't answer. You can post your question below this video or ask over at our Cricut Crafters group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters. And that's it for today. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love.